With every revolution, a tire runs the risk of being punctured by a foreign object. And since the average tire will experience millions of revolutions throughout its lifespan, it's usually a matter of when you get a flat, not if. When an object breaks through the inner liner of the tire, the most immediate concern is the loss of inflation pressure. But the long-term risk is that the broken body cords and cables in the belt package will start to unwind as the tire flexes during normal operation. This instability around the penetrating object often leads to a tread separation. In this example, the damage was not removed prior to installing a patch on the inside of the tire, which resulted in a belt separation. Failing to fill the injury allows water and moisture to enter the body of the tire, which causes corrosion to develop in the steel belts. It's also important to remove the tire from the rim so the inside can be thoroughly inspected. In this example, a simple nail in the tread resulted in severe damage to the sidewall that cannot be seen on the outside of the tire. For this reason, tires should never be repaired on the rim with a string plug or similar type of repair. Likewise, the use of sealants or emergency inflators that contain a sealant are not recommended as long-term solutions to a flat tire for the same reason. Motorists must also understand that puncture repairs are limited to the center of the tread area, which is known as the crown. The maximum allowable size is one quarter inch. Injuries in the shoulder and sidewall area are not repairable. And while tire manufacturers agree on the size and location of repairable injuries, the number of repairs varies depending on the make and model of the tire. However, if the injuries are close enough so the repairs overlap or the injuries are directly across from each other, the tire cannot be repaired and must be scrapped. The first step that must take place before any tire can be repaired is a thorough and complete inspection of the inside and outside of the tire. Once the technician determines the tire can be repaired, the damaged belt and body cables must be removed with a special drill bit, which is called a carbide cutter. The carbide cutter trims the damaged cables back to solid rubber and stabilizes the area around the injury. After the damage has been removed, the injury channel must be filled with a rubber stem to prevent water and moisture from entering the body of the tire. By sealing off the injury channel at the tread surface, the steel cables in the belt package are protected from corrosion. With the damage removed and the injury filled, the final step in the repair process is to seal the breach on the inner liner with a repair unit. Technicians will use a special buffing wheel to prepare the inside of the tire and create a smooth and even surface. Special vulcanizing cement is then applied to the buffed surface and allowed to dry so a chemical bond can be created with a repair unit or patch. Once the cement is dry, a repair unit or patch is installed on the inner liner to complete the repair. There are a number of different ways that a tire can lose inflation pressure, but a puncture from a nail or other object is probably the most common cause for a flat tire. When repaired improperly, the results can be deadly. But when a puncture is within the limits established by the industry and properly repaired, motorists can expect the tire to continue delivering thousands of miles of safe and reliable performance.